toward the middle. And just stop about there. You can move it up a little. And then we want to reflect this for the other side. So right click, transform, reflect, copy, and then scoot that over. Then we want to do the same thing, join those two. So I'm just going to skip the average, I'm just going to join it. So control J. Then we go back to selection, grab this line, and I'm holding down my alt key and shift at the same time to make a copy of that. Um, then at this point we want to grab the dress and the two lines and go to the Pathfinder tool and click on divide and then ungroup. So right click ungroup. So now each of these pieces is in a separate shape using my selection tool. The top the middle and the bottom so they can be filled with a color. The shape has to be closed in order to fill it with a color. Then we need to draw the darts so then we go to the line segment and just draw the darts. Either the line segment or the pen tool. So I don't want to um, Okay, that works. Okay, so then when, now we have all that. So this is the front of the shirt for now. Uh, we have to add some other things, but we'll come back to that later. We're going to um, go ahead and make the back of the shirt. So let's just remember that this is the front by naming the layer front. And then to quickly make a copy of this, you grab this layer, grab the box, drag it down to your new layer icon and then double click the name, click twice, and we're naming it back. So let's hide the front one by cl just clicking on the eye. And then now we're working on this top one. Okay, so we want to make an opening. Use your ellipse tool, and that is just hidden under the rectangle. So click and hold the rectangle, go to ellipse, and make sure you're here on that layer. Then draw a long ellipse from the top to the bottom section. Center it to the dress. And then grab this piece. Shift and grab the ellipse that you just made. Go to your pathfinder and then this is the tricky part. Don't click on this yet. Notice it says minus front and then option click to create a compound shape and subtract from shape area. That's what you want to do. Um, whoops. <laughs> um, click here. So hold on your alt key. Alt is the same as option. Alt, click on that, and then click on expand. Okay. Then we want to draw a line from the zipper to the bottom of the dress. So Grab your line segment, just click and hold down your shift key to keep it perfectly straight. Draw all the way down to here. And then draw a little line showing where the zipper stops, which would be about there. And then to draw the zipper pull, use the ellipse again. Let me just do it out here so you can see. We're just going to make a little one. And then I want to make part of it pointed. So you go to your pen tool. Click and hold on your pen tool and select Convert Anchor Point Tool. And then just click on the top. Let me zoom in. So we click on this top point. So you notice it changes into like a teardrop shape. And then to make that a nicer um, pointed, I guess, nicer end, you go to your stroke and then this one, round join. Okay. So I don't know if you noticed that, but it did change. Um, here's the difference. It's pointed and then it's slightly softer. If you don't see this entire menu under stroke, then you're probably hidden, um, have, you probably have your options hidden. So just go to this options button, click on show options and it shows all this. Okay, then let's zoom out so we can see where to place this zipper pull. 
I'm going to put it about here. We're going to rotate it. So just, I'm still in my selection tool. Hover near one of the corners until you see the curved arrow. Just angle it.